Hey guys, in today's video, we are going to see Top 6 Benton Ultimate Alien Aliens similar to Sleptera Slux. This video is third video in the Sleptera crossover comparison series. If in case you didn't check my previous comparison videos on Benton Classic and Benton Alien Force with Sleptera, please check that out after this video. Also, just a small heads up before starting this video. Benton Ultimate Alien initial seasons focus on Aggregor capturing the 5 alien species. The DNA of those aliens are captured by Omnitrix. These 5 aliens are Water Hazard, Armadillo, NRG, Terraspin, and Phoebe. These aliens have a significant role in Benton Ultimate Alien and are going to be 5 out of 6 top comparisons in this video. Let's start the list. 1. Water Hazard and Aquabee Water Hazard is the alien with water power. It can attack people by spraying water at heavy force, just like the water power star Aquabee. During the episode Deep Water Dark Water, we see how powerful an Aquabee slug is. In this episode, Aquabee is extremely powerful as it's underwater, but it isn't any less powerful outside the water. Similarly, Water Hazard is powerful outside of water as well. I'm saying this because during the Benton Classic Aliens and Slectera comparison episode, we talked about Deep Jaws. Deep Jaws is extremely powerful underwater, but it may get little weak when it's away from water for long. But Aqua Beak Slug and Water Hazard are powerful out of water as well. Water Hazard have other powers like Absorbing Mist, but I think the closest slug to Water Hazard is Aqua Beak. 2. Armadillo and Crystalline Armadillo is the alien with drilling powers. It can cause earthquakes and destroy multiple things with its drilling power and can drill into the ground and come out at another place. This drilling inside and coming out exactly matches with the crystallite slug. Eli and Pronto gets a crystallite slug in the episode Slugram. Pronto uses it against Pinto which drills a big hole and Pinto falls into it. We see the crystallite slug being used multiple times later, especially in the episode Badly of Brothers and Retina of Elementals. I am sure this drilling power slug is similar to the drilling power area arm driller. 3. Energy and Force Melter Energy is literally an energy being inside his metallic suit. He is so hard and can melt things easily. We have many fire slugs, but I think the only slug that can match this kind of heat is a force melter slug. Force melter are extremely rare and live around Vulcanus and hot lava. We saw things like Shame Treasure and the gate in the episode Keys to Kingdom, which are covered by Sealsmith and can be opened only by a Force Melter Slug. Also, Sealsmith is also an attack by a Force Melter Slug. I think the heat and powers of energy match with the Force Melter Slug. What do you guys say? 4. Terra Spin and Tormentor Terra Spin is a turtle alien with powers of controlling wind and attacking via tornadoes. And we all know the tornado expert slug, Tormentor. We saw Trixie's Tormato Slug, Cluster Slash Gale, so many times, transforming into an extremely powerful tornado. Terra Spin and Tormato are a clear match, aren't they? 5. Amphibian and Taserling Amphibian has electricity absorbing and shooting powers. I don't know about the absorbing part, but the shooting and fighting with electricity is the power of Taserling Slug as well. Taserling Slugs can form protective sheets or attack with their electric power. They can even manipulate the electric devices like we saw in the episodes The Journey Home and The Thrill of Gear. We can consider the electric experts of both series similar, right? 6. Fast Track and Speed Stringer Fast Track is the alien introduced in Ultimate Alien that can run extremely fast. Yes, I know this reminds us of the classic alien Accelerate. So, the slug similar to Fast Track is the same slug we compared to Accelerate in Benton Classic and Slectera comparison video, which is none other than Speed Stringer. Most of the time, slugs turn back to protoform very quickly after a time, making them no choice to go for a long distance and at a very high speed. But Speed Stringer can change the direction when hit and go for long distances and is known for its speed. That's why I am considering Speed Stringer as similar to Fast Track. I know you guys may agree with few comparisons but not the other. Some of you even might have any other comparisons I missed. So please let me know your feedback and thoughts in comments. If you are interested, check my previous videos I made in the comparison series between Slugtera and Benton Classic from a Benton Alien Post. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.